Welcome Scenic Runners to Stowe, Vermont. This is the second run in New England on this trip. Uh, up here in Vermont visiting a friend, checking out the little town of Stowe. Very quaint, picturesque, cute as a button. I think it's a covered bridge. Gonna try and see a couple more covered bridges. Uh, today is November, November 11th, I think. November 12th, 2021. Friday, I believe. Uh, these are just, you know, Well, melding together. So that's the church. That's the most iconic building in Stowe. Just with the uh, backdrop of the trees and the mountains. Very pretty. Oh, actually, took the wrong turn. I drank here yesterday at the lower bar. It's a pretty good selection. Uh, yeah. Visiting my friend, so came through Stowe. He lives outside of Mount Pelier. He played guide for the day. Played some disc golf. Went up to the Von Trapp Brewery. Uh, uh, what is it? Sound of Music Family. It's their family's brewery and lodge. Uh, so I went there, had some good Bavarian drinks and food, and then went up towards Smuggler's Notch. Uh, a really beautiful drive and then we after that we came back down into town had a few drinks yesterday was a lot nicer in terms of weather Sunny for the most part here this morning. I was pumped, gonna do my run, plan it out. Sorry, I should have said this is a 6.5 mile run, so long as the weather holds up nicely. Um, when I was mapping it out, then I could hear the rain coming in, and it's cold. You know, it's 45 degrees right now, so kind of was a deterrent, but then I heard a break in the rain. So hopefully it holds up for the next like 45 minutes. We'll see. We shall see. We're just on a recreation trail that'll go along 
uh, Mount Road 108. Crisscrossing along the creek. Now, my friend was telling me we were here like two weeks ago. You wouldn't have been able to even find a which way am I going? Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah. a hotel available in Stowe or Waterbury where we stayed the day before because it's peak foliage season and you have all the changing of the colors of the leaves so now we're a couple weeks past that and as you can see very minimal leaves on the trees it's all right um, you know, it would have been awesome to see it, but a lot more pre-planning, more expensive. But you know, I kind of like the off-season. Less people. Morning. So yeah, I'm enjoying this. And plus, when I came here two years ago, his wedding was during peak foliage season. So I did get to experience it before. Pretty nice. So, today is the last, like, I'll consider the last you know, full day of this vacation where I get to take it leisurely and enjoy the day. Um, after that, head back to Boston to fly out on Saturday. So I'll have like a three to four hour drive to do. Enjoying it so far though. So, things to do today are, don't think we're gonna get around to the, uh, the hike my friend recommended up to Sterling Pond. Uh, I feel like in the forecast, it's supposed to be raining again by 10 a.m. I only have one pair of shoes, so they're already a little wet. Don't want to make it even worse. Uh, just walk around Stowe a little more, go into some of the shops, get some breakfast. What else? Head to back down to towards Waterbury, go to the Ben and Jerry's factory. Go check out some covered bridges. There's another one in Stowe called the Goldbrook Bridge. Also, Emily's Bridge, which is legend has it is haunted. Back from some female back in the 1800s. Uh, story goes. She was supposed to elope with her boyfriend and get married and meet up at the covered bridge. Asshole didn't show. No, I shouldn't say call him an asshole. I don't know. But dude didn't show. And she took her life on that bridge. So there has been, you know, paranormal sightings and stories. We'll go see what it's like. I've been to a few covered bridges, love them. And this is just a fun, well, interesting story to follow on and go and see it.
Good morning. Don't know if it's starting to show up on the lens, but starting to drizzle. Hopefully it holds off a little longer because we're only a mile and a half into this run. And if we do the full thing, it's gonna be six and a half miles. So, last night, like I said, we went to low bar and uh, had a couple rounds, had the infamous uh, Heady Topper IPA from Alchemist Brewing, which is right here in Stowe. We actually tried to go to the brewery. Uh, but they were only doing take or to go uh, orders. You couldn't go inside, which is disappointing. But you know, bold and audible. The beers canned and sold everywhere in Vermont. So got a couple cans. It was good. But then my friend said, "Try this other one. They can." I believe it was a double IPA. It was called Focal. What was it? Focal something. That one was, in my opinion, better. It was his opinion too. Uh, after that. We went out to eat at Dock Pond. Awesome, awesome establishment. They had a lot of local beers. So I got a Hill Farmstead beer, Edward I think it was called. That was even better than the two. I've been to Hill Farmstead before, two years ago when I came up here. You know, because she said it was a, you know, another world-class brewery morning and yeah beer is good I think better than alchemist one thing with the breweries that I've gone to here like alchemist it was a brand new looking facility state-of-the-art so it was the Von Trapp Brewery, you know, not, I was kind of hoping these would be in like 100 year old buildings along the Whit River, or, you know, something like that in an old mill. That's more idyllic, but, you know, I get it. If you have that much acclaim, you want to build out the space, serve as many people as you can. Morning. But after that, after Dock Pond, we were searching for dessert and you know everything in Stowe seems like it shuts down by like 8 or 9 p.m. So not much is open. But we did find Idle Times Brewing and Restaurant or Brew Pub. 
and went there for some dessert. Pretty good. We got donut holes and ice cream, and then I got a half pour of there. Uh, it was an interesting beer. It was a sour IPA. Almost seemed like it didn't know what it wanted to be. Not too sour, not too hoppy, just overall kind of interesting. I'm not big on sours, but it was, you know, drinkable. Okay, the rain is starting to pick up. I'm feeling all right though. So in a couple of weeks time, I'll be doing a 5K and five miler for the turkey trot in Oceanside. Plan on doing the five miler first. And then like 30 minutes after that, the 5K. See how that goes. I'll probably record those for fun, not recorded any races. So stay tuned for that. Anybody planning on doing any turkey trots in your neck of the woods? I love those things. Great way to be okay with being a, a little extra gluttonous on the holiday. Especially now since I'll be running like eight miles as opposed to five or three.
Well, apologies, y'all. There's some rain and drops on the lens. It'll just make it feel that much more real, I guess, the experience. So over on our right side is the back of Idle Times Brewing. Pretty big, nice interior. Pretty nice exterior. Right along the river, hard to beat. Hmm. see a pumpkin in the river. Yeah, just imagine all these trees full of leaves. God, how beautiful would that be? But then I also can't imagine how many bikers and runners and walkers would be on this path. <laughs> This is nice to pretty much have it all by yourself. I don't have to worry about looking like a weirdo to too many strangers without carrying a camera awkwardly as I run and talking to nobody.
So I think from the road, I saw this. This is supposed to be a corn maze. I saw some of the brochures for it and the past mazes they've done. They looked awesome. I love corn mazes. I love everything about fall. Pumpkin, spice everything. Pumpkin pie, corn mazes, covered bridges, gloomy wet weather, Thanksgiving, wearing sweaters, changing of the colors. No better season in my opinion. We're gonna pick it up for a minute. Three, two, one, go. All right, slow it down. Go back to your normal pace. All right, about four miles down. Actually, to our left is the corn maze. 
or it was the corn maze. Percy Farm Corn Maze. Now I'm not sure if that was the one I saw in the brochures, but it, there was one that was claiming to be the biggest in Vermont. And it looked awesome. So I think I might be cutting this one short, not doing the full 6.5. My feet are pretty soggy right now. I'm kind of wet. Don't really want to push it too much. Plus I have a full day of exploration to go. So. Take it easy. So we're staying at the Talta, T-A-L-T-A -T -A Lodge on Route 108. Pretty nice. Very like Scandinavian. One thing I did not appreciate this morning but they had their freaking electricians drilling into our wall in the hallway, like installing lights. I'm like, what the hell? Open the door. Yeah, they're right there. Making a ruckus. And I was like, dude, come on. It's not even 8 a.m. What the hell are you doing? Oh, sorry. Stupid. Otherwise, it's been a pretty nice hotel. But, come on. Nice amenities um, outside, right along the river. I'll try and point out the back of it. Uh, but yeah, uh, on the river, have a few fire pits, have a pool, look like they were building a big hot tub, sauna, lounge area, <clears throat> clean, reasonable rate. Maybe next year they'll have all their renovations done. Kind of looks like they went under new management. Um, actually, that is it across the way. Morning. So yeah, again, Talta, T-A-L-T-A. I think there's supposed to be a crossover soon that I could cut through. Maybe.
Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to or allowed to, but I'm cutting through here, heading back to the road. Thank you all for joining for another run. We, today's run is in Stowe, Vermont, five miles ish. November 12th, 2021. That marks the last run of this trip. So thank you for joining, and until next time, keep those feet moving.